Well, welcome to the 700 Club. The United States and Israel may be heading for a showdown, and it could begin as soon as today at the White House. That's when President Obama and Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu will talk about the president's latest demands on Israel. Jennifer Wishon has the story from Washington. The president's latest statement on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict was an endorsement of a key Palestinian goal. We believe the borders of Israel and Palestine should be based on the 1967 lines with mutually agreed swaps so that secure and recognized borders are established for both states. That would require Israel to give up East Jerusalem, the West Bank and Gaza, territory gained by Israel during the Six-Day War in 1967. And it would leave major Israeli settlements outside of Israel's borders. Israelis fear it would make them more vulnerable to attack. One senior member of Netanyahu's government says the prime minister's only option is to tell Obama to forget about it. Former Israeli ambassador Yoram Ettinger says President Obama isn't considering the reality of the Middle East. Once again, the president is detached because calling for Israel's withdrawal to the 1967 lines on one hand and calling for secure boundaries for Israel on the other hand constitute an oxymoron. Another major roadblock for Israel is a recent partnership by the Palestinians Fatah movement with Hamas, a terrorist organization that seeks to destroy Israel. Even the president admitted that's a difficulty. How can one negotiate with a party that has shown itself unwilling to recognize your right to exist? But the president says the Palestinians have to work that problem out for themselves. Meanwhile, Hamas accuses the president of siding with Israel and says the people of the Middle East don't need his lectures. Jennifer Wishon, CBN News, Washington. Now the president's getting it from both sides on this one. He's getting from the Arabs, we don't need your lectures. But from the Israelis, he's getting a lot of scratching of, of heads like, well, you've got to be kidding. You clearly don't understand our situation. On the main road from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, a road, by the way, that didn't exist in, in 67 because it couldn't have it crosses that border. You, you wouldn't be able to drive from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem if the border is established on those 67 uh, lines. Uh, but there's a fort, it's called Latroon. And when the British pulled out in, in 1948, Latroon became a place where the uh, Arabs started shelling anyone going to Jerusalem. And they've created a monument there uh, of the wrecked vehicles as a reminder of what it would be if we went back to the 67 border, that Jerusalem could be held hostage, that you wouldn't be able to pass there, you wouldn't be able to get free traffic in and out of, of Jerusalem. And uh, the Israeli Defense Force on a regular basis holds as an exercise that they have to, their soldiers have to carry a backpack uh, from Latrun all the way to Jerusalem to reinforce with them just how hard it would be to get supplies to the Jews living there if they ever went back to the 67 borders. That's why Israel is now saying the United States just doesn't understand. Uh, if you go back to 67, then Jerusalem becomes, we cannot defend it. Uh, we can't maintain Jerusalem. And if that happens, then we've fallen right into what the Muslim Brotherhood is calling for, that Jerusalem be returned to the Palestinians. Lee Webb has the rest of our top stories from the CBN Newsroom. Lee? Gordon, with the help of groundbreaking new research, one man is proving his doctors wrong just by standing. Rob Summers was paralyzed from the chest down in a car accident five years ago, and his doctors told him he would never stand again. But he heard about new research on the treatment of spinal cord injuries. Doctors implant an electrical stimulator on the lining of the spinal cord to wake up the damaged nerve system. Rob decided to give it a shot, and within days, he could stand without help. When the stimulator is turned on, Rob can wiggle his toes, move his knees, ankles and hips, and take some steps, as you can see here on a treadmill. All of this done only when the stimulator is turned on. But researchers are optimistic that in the future, they could help paralyzed people regain their mobility. One of the world's most famous scientists calls heaven a fairy story. As you might imagine, Stephen Hawking's opinion has sparked worldwide reaction. Mark Martin has that story. 
Stephen Hawking is known as a brilliant intellectual. However, his comments about faith are raising questions about his wisdom. The 69-year-old scientist suffers from a form of muscular dystrophy. In response to a question on whether he is afraid to die, Hawking said, quote, There is no heaven. That is a fairy story for people afraid of the dark. When it comes to this latest statement, I have far better grounds for believing in uh, life after death, as it were, that my life goes on beyond the grave, than I do for believing in M-theory, Stephen Hawking's latest uh, candidate theory of everything, physical theory of everything, for which in fact there is no evidence, but there is very strong evidence for the resurrection. Science measures things that are visible, that are measurable, and because it does, it starts to assume that that's all that exists. Roughly three quarters of Americans believe heaven is real. 12-year-old Colton Burpo of Nebraska has also been making headlines recently after saying that he went there. I got to see Jesus and two of the apostles, Peter and John. At age four, when nearing death, Colton underwent emergency surgery. His father says when his son came to, he knew things that he'd never been told, including describing his sister whom his mother had miscarried. In response to Hawking's theory, I'll say that I can believe what I can believe in. If you don't believe it, okay. The man's a genius in his own right, but how he can actually say that there is no heaven or no higher power as such, then he's a well, he's a fool, really, isn't he? Reverend Dr. Rodney Holder is calling on Christians to pray for Hawking. A colleague of mine just now, uh, John Lennox, uh, said, uh, well, the response to Stephen Hawking is that atheism is invented for those who uh, are afraid of the light. It's a fairy story for those who are afraid of the light. And I think there's a lot of truth in that. And yet Jesus is the light of the world. And I think that's what uh, Stephen Hawking needs to recognize. Mark Martin. CBN News. Gordon, back to you. Well, we put together a DVD story, eyewitness testimony of people who have died. Uh, and the doctor said that they died. They died in a hospital environment. And they report about going to heaven. They also report about going somewhere else to hell. And their stories we've put together in a DVD. Now, when you look at Colton Burpo's story, here's a four-year-old boy, and he says, I went to heaven, I died, I went to heaven, I saw Jesus. But more importantly than even that, if you can be more important, he says, I saw my great-grandfather. There was a man, he came to me and he said, you're, you're, you're my, you're my great-grandson. And he introduced himself, and he also met his older sister. Now, these are unusual things because the older sister was a miscarriage and he had never been told about her. He had never been told about his great grandfather because his great grandfather died before he was born. But here he was in heaven and he came back as an eyewitness and he was able to name them and tell his parents all about them. Well, if you want that, we've got it for you today. We'll be back with more of the 700 Club right after this. Is there life after death? And I began to rise out of my body up into that room. Are heaven and hell real places? I can see fields, crystal clear river, trees along both sides. What determines where I go when I die? I knew that the first person I saw was Jesus. Discover the answers to life's most important questions in the 700 Club's Life Beyond the Grave. Real stories from the 700 Club, available now. It's part of the American dream. Be your own boss. Gary Parks got the chance to do just that when he developed a business idea, simply by driving down the street. Gary Parks is a hard worker, but he never could quite make ends meet. He worked at several part-time jobs, including working at a gas station and building welders. Even with the long hours he worked, he struggled to pay the bills. Sharon remembers when they had to buy food past its expiration date for their family at the discount grocery store. My son would get out his cereal and he'd get ready to put it in and, and there would be some uh, bugs in there crawling around and, and he would freak out. We had an electric bill of $25. We're trying to figure out where we'd get the money for that. 
Sharon started cleaning houses on the side to bring in some extra income. You'd do whatever you had to do to pay your bills, so you worked. Sharon also began to pray. She asked God to fix their finances. One day, she turned on the 700 Club. And he started teaching about the law of reciprocity. And it really opened my eyes about tithing and giving and reaping and sowing and, I, and how God wants to bless us. She joined the 700 Club from her small income cleaning houses. Three months later, she got a contract making $8,000 a month cleaning commercial businesses. And Gary got a full-time job with benefits with the Florida Department of Forestry. He started watching the 700 Club with his wife and tithing from his paychecks too. I just thought I would give this a try and see what it would do for me. That's when Gary says God gave him the idea for his new company, cleaning up construction sites. I seen a brand new house being built and construction debris was all over the yard. And the Lord said, you need to go and make a containment area and you need to haul that away. I started hauling January the 1st and January the 30th. In 30 days, I made more money than I did working all year long with the state of Florida Forestry Service. Gary went from making $30,000 a year to six figures in just 12 months. There was such a demand for their work that Sharon quit her cleaning business and went to work for the hauling company. It meant the more we make, the more we could give. And I was so excited for what he was doing in our lives. Gary sold his business just two months before the recession hit the housing industry. Started out with five dumpsters. And when I sold the business, I had 18 trucks and 300 dumpsters. It wasn't me, the Lord was the one that told me to sell the business, and it was, it was in his timing. The parks also taught their sons about giving, and today Kelly is a partner with his dad in a new demolition business. Our profits have, have tripled, and our, our, our business is going up, and, and every year it seems we have more and more work. And, and we've never stopped. All it took was that one chance of giving and, and look where we're at now. What he's done for me and my family, he can also do for any other family out there. I guarantee you, God will bless you. Just step out and he will meet you right there, wherever you're at. If it's even a penny or a dollar, he will bless you. If it's even a penny or a dollar, God will bless you. Here it is from Isaiah 58. It's one of the great promises of the Bible. Is this not the fast that I've chosen? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and then you bring your, to your house the poor who are cast out? When you see the naked that you cover them, all right, that, that's what you're, is required. When you do that, when you do that, when you feed the hungry, when you clothe the naked, when you do these things, when you provide housing for people, well, then your light shall break forth like the morning. Your healing shall spring forth speedily and your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry, and he will say, here I am. Now, that's what happened to Sharon. Here she is, she's struggling. And, and can you imagine pouring out cereal for your child, and there being bugs in it? Because they had to shop where Things were way past their date. They had to buy the dented cans. It was a struggle just to put food on the table. And she got an idea, I'm going to give. I'm going to start helping other people. And you, you would think in that circumstance, well, I, I, I need to help myself. But she decided, I'm going to help others. I'm going to listen to what God's telling me. I'm going to help others. Then she said, okay, now we need money. I'm going to go start cleaning houses. And that was a good idea, because from that, God blessed her, and she turned that business, and it, she started thinking about it as a business, into $8,000 a month. While her husband sees that, Gary, he says, well, if she can do it, I can do it too. And he started uh, giving, and then he got a great idea. Uh, he said, God spoke to me. He said, you need to start clearing trash off of building sites and setting up areas where the, the builder can put the trash and you take it away. Well, that business took off. And soon Sharon's got to quit her job in order to go help out Gary because there's so much business. And then on top of all of that, God says, well, I, it's time to sell. And so they sell and they start yet another business. All of that is because they made a decision to give. That can be you too. 
Because when you do that, when you start giving, when you call, God answers speedily and he starts giving you ideas, creative ideas on how to make money. It's God that gives us the power to get wealth. It's not from any get rich quick scheme. It's because God gives you an idea, you develop that idea, you work hard at that idea, and then it comes to pass. But it starts with you giving. That's the promise from Isaiah 58. When you give, when you call, he will answer and say, here am I. Well, here's another couple that started this, and God gave them a great idea, one that was, uh, was unexpected. At the beginning, they were just one paycheck away from losing everything, and Bill and Tina Wilson were just on a paycheck-to-paycheck pay budget until they gave and then got back a very unusual gift that helped them increase their income. A couple of years ago, Bill Wilson was the county deputy and Tina was a stay-at-home mom with their three boys. The couple was excited about their growing family, but discouraged about their tight budget. We're living from paycheck to paycheck pretty much. And you look at your budget, then you look at your expenses that you have going out versus your money coming in and you kind of like, how is this going to happen? Not knowing if we'll have the food for groceries, mortgage, it was hard. In 2009, Tina started watching the 700 Club and heard about the principle of tithing. Off and on, we were tithing when, it, when we could afford to tithe, we would tithe. The Lord just kept working on us, you know, to, to keep tithing, whether it was easy or not. I was convinced from watching the testimonies and reading the Bible. It started as a prayer to convince Bill to show him how the principle worked. Eventually, Bill and Tina started watching the 700 Club together regularly and decided to give $20 a month to CBN on top of their tithe. Just months later, they received a gift that dramatically changed their income. Tina actually was looking for our family, a milk cow. Tina began looking for a Jersey cow that could provide her family with fresh dairy. And Jersey cows are just so cute, you know, with their little long eyelashes and their big brown eyes. She went online and she found a website for Jersey Acres. Tina emailed this lady the lady emailed Tina back and asked Tina for some reason, said, are you a Christian? And I, I was like, well, that's a strange question to ask. And, and why do you ask? And she says, because I've been praying about this cow. I don't need, I feel like the Lord wants me to give you the cow. And I was crying because it was an answer to my prayer to show Bill that the principle of giving and tithing works. After starting their farm with their one cow, Bobby Joe. Bill and Tina increased their CBN pledge to $40 a month. In a single year, their one milk cow turned into a growing business, JTB Jersey Farms. Today, they sell milk, butter, and cheese. Because it was the Lord's idea and He made it come about, I thought it only appropriate to give Him the glory, so we put J in front of T and B. It was Jesus' idea, and then Tina and Bill. We've seen our business grow from only having one cow. Now we have five cows and a bull. The Lord knew we would enjoy the dairy farming. The prayer started as being financially independent, not owing anyone, and we know we're on that road. It amazes me how many prayers are answered just in one business. You have to take a step of faith. I know for a fact that the Lord will prevail and will He will always step up. To anyone who isn't convinced, I would say to just trust Him. He is the God of the universe, and we're His children, and He wants to prosper us and not to harm us. As a personal testimony, it works. As a personal testimony, it works. Now listen to what Tina said. It was God's idea, and He's the one that caused it to come to pass. Now, what good ideas does God have for you? All you have to do to get access to them is ask Him. Ask Him. And then say, I'm going to live according to what you say. And if you say, uh, if I give, then when I call to you, you'll answer. Now, Bill and Tina's prayer was pretty simple. We, we, we don't want to be in debt. But God had something even more for him. 
I want to give you a business that's going to satisfy you. You're going to be happy doing this. This isn't just going to lead to prosperity. You're going to be happy doing it. Here's the promise. It's from Luke chapter 6. These are the words of Jesus. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Bill, Bill and Tina learned that. They did that. And God gave them not just an idea. He gave them a cow to go along with that idea. And then they developed it. And now it's a business uh, that's beyond their dreams and satisfying their heart. That can happen to you if you just obey and give. Now, if I can get a drum roll, we've got some good news. Some existing CBN partners, those who give to the ministry of CBN, say, we like giving so much, we wanna challenge others to give. And for the next 30 minutes, they're challenging you $100,000. We've got 30 minutes to make it. So we need to hear from you. What we're asking you to do is take an adventure in giving and say, I'll start. Uh, if God says, if, if I give, when I call to him, he'll answer speedily, okay. If God's got ideas to give me for creative businesses that will make me happy and make me self-sufficient, then that's what I want. Uh, then just call us, 1-800-759-0700. What we're asking you to do is join the 700 Club. How much is that? Well, it's just $20 a month. That's only 65 cents a day. Some of you say, well, I want to tithe. I want to give more. And so you can give at 700 Club Gold. There's $40 or more a month. Then 1,000 Club, that's $1,000 a year. That equals $84 a month. 2,500 Clubs, 2,500 a year. Founder is $5,000 a year. And if you want to make a significant gift, uh, we've got Chairman Circle, 10,000 or more a year. At whatever level, God is speaking to you to give. Now's the time to call us, 1-800-759-0700. Let's pray. Lord, we just ask for blessing for the partners who made it possible to issue this challenge. And for those watching right now, I just ask that you would speak to them and encourage them. Lord, you want to prosper your people. You, you want us to be happy. You want us to be free. Uh, you want us to enjoy your life, the life that you give. And so, Lord, we just ask that you would speak to them, encourage them. We ask all of it in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, $100,000, 29 minutes to go. Please go to the phone and call us, 1-800-759-0700. Let's go to Christy at the phones. Hey, Gordon, you know I have a seven-year-old son who loves to ask questions like, where did this come from or how was that made? Most of the time, I don't have a clue, but when he asked me the ultimate question, I knew the answer. So what's the ultimate question is, where do we go when we die? Well, in the new DVD, Life Beyond the Grave, you're gonna hear the answers from people who actually know the answer from experience. Take a look. And I remember them hauling him away and him just yelling at me, Daddy, don't let him take me. When they got me into the hospital, I could feel myself coming out of my body. I could hear them talking. I knew my body was dying. I began falling and falling. And then I see this tunnel of light. I was in a place of total torment. Some angels came and flew me up to heaven. First person I saw was Jesus. As I looked towards the face of the Lord, you knew if he spoke, constellations, galaxies would come into existence. God came down from heaven. And now I had entered into a place of love and light. I learned that heaven is for real and you're gonna like it. The 700 Club's Life Beyond the Grave, available now. I gotta tell you about this. I am so excited. A couple months ago, we did a series called Life Beyond the Grave. It was so popular, so many people called us, emailed us about it, that for you, we put it all together, all these amazing, life-changing stories of people who've gone to heaven and hell in this DVD. Now check this out, this is where it gets really exciting. If you call right now and become a 700 Club partner, we're gonna give this to you, but check it out. Maybe you're already a partner and you're thinking about 700 Club Gold. We're not just gonna give you one, we're actually gonna give you 
two more DVDs. So that's a total of three. What does that mean? It means you take one, you watch one for yourself, you take the other two, and you bless other people, whether it's your neighbors, your friends, your family. Maybe you're sitting here thinking, okay, I got a couple people I want to give this to, but I, have, I want more than three. Got it covered. If you become a Thousand Club member, that's $84 a month. Check this out. Listen, we have never done this before. We are going to give you, okay, I'm holding this up in my hand, five, five DVDs, one for yourself, four more for your friends, for your neighbors, for your cousin, for that brother who always debates you about Jesus Christ. Listen, this is what it's all about, sharing the gospel, the love of Jesus Christ to the nations. So you start with, where do you go when you die, heaven or hell? Listen, these people know the answer. So you got to call in right now, become a 700 Club partner. We are in the middle of a challenge. So not only will you be blessed, you will bless the nations, but not only will you bless them, you will save them. So call 1-800, what is it? 759-0700. Or you can always log on to CBN.com right now. We're in the middle of a challenge. We've got 26 seconds, 26 minutes left on this challenge. So call in right now. Terry? Well, in America, most parents warn their kids about picking up trash on the street. But for one little girl in Guatemala, picking up trash was a way of life, and the city dump was her home. Her name is Maribel, but everyone here knows her as Kitty. She's had to endure living and working on this garbage dump for as long as she can remember. Each night after the trash is dumped here, the little girl scurries to pick up as many plastic bottles as she can for her grandma to recycle. Sometimes she also finds a scrap of food or a discarded toy to play with. I don't like to live here. When my tummy hurts, I pick up food at the dump and eat it. This is Kitty's grandmother. She told us how Kitty came to live with her. Kitty's dad is in prison and her mother abandoned her. That's why she lives with me. It is pretty hopeless for us. Then we saw where Kitty and her grandmother live, right here in the middle of the dump site. Grandma is especially concerned about the rats. I am afraid that the rats bite Kitty or one of the other kids who live here. So CBN decided to help Kitty and her grandmother. First, we built them a new house, far from the sights and smells and the rats on the dump. It was an exciting day when Kitty and her grandma got to move in. It's so good to have this new house. Next, because CBN moved them far from the dump, we knew that grandma now had no way to make money to support them. So we set up a small clothing business for her right in the marketplace near the new home. Already, grandma's income is better than she ever made working at the dump. I'm making good money with my new business. Then we were able to help Kitty to attend this school run by Christians. Here she receives a good education and hot, nutritious meals during the day, thanks in part to a new kitchen provided by CBN. I like to study here. I want to be a doctor when I grow up so I can help others. Finally, during a summer Bible outreach for all the kids at the dump, which was sponsored by CBN, Kitty prayed and asked Jesus to come and live in her heart. I'm so thankful for Kitty's school, for the house and the new business. But mostly, I am grateful we don't live at the garbage dump anymore. Thank you, Operation Blessing. Are you making a difference, 700 Club members? I, this story just says it all. Taking people from the garbage heap of life to giving them hope, a future, opportunity, an understanding of who they are, who God is, and how much He loves them. What does it cost to do that? If you're not a 700 Club member and you join today, it's 65 cents a day, $20 a month. If you're already a 700 Club member, watch that story and say, I can do more. Go up to 700 Club Gold. That's a gift of $40 or more a month. We have so many club levels for you to join. Can I ask you when you call today and when you do join to say, I want to do it using Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving. It means your bank does all the work. You don't have to remember mailings or stamps or envelopes, none of it. And it's 
saves us a lot of administrative costs, so we can put even more of your gift into lives like Kitty's and her grandmother's. So please, will you call now? And our way of saying thank you for using Pledge Express is to send you Power for Life teachings. You'll get one of these each month. It will bless your own life, and you'll have the privilege and the satisfaction, and there is a satisfaction in knowing that God is using you to make a difference in the life of someone who's in desperate need. So please, call right now. It's 1-800-759-0700. Gordon? Well, the couple in our next story would do anything for their little boy. So when he was diagnosed with a serious heart condition, they did everything they could to raise money. All Mr. and Mrs. Chi ever wanted was a healthy child. Their first baby died of a bad cold at five months. They had a miscarriage with their second child. Then eight years into their marriage, Mrs. Chi gave birth to Yang Ming. He looked perfectly normal at first, but then his lips started to turn purple. Mr. Chi rushed Yang Ming to the hospital, where their couple's worst fears were realized. Their son had two holes in his heart. Without open heart surgery, he too would die. I couldn't handle losing another child. Every day I ask myself, why do all these bad things keep happening to me? So Mr. Chi set out to save Yong Min's life. He took a second job in a coal mine, working extra shifts to raise money for his son's surgery. He even borrowed from friends and family. Still, there was never enough, and Yong Min's health got progressively worse. He was in so much pain that he cried for seven days and seven nights straight. I burned incense to my idols to see if that would help, but it didn't. One doctor said Baby Ming's time was running out and suggested the couple contact CBN immediately for help. Mr. Chi wrote CBN a letter. I really didn't think the letter would get us anywhere. I had started to believe nothing good would ever happen. But CBN changed that. CBN called us and said they had arranged free surgery for my son. I was so happy. Yang Ming came through his surgery and recovery time with flying colors, and today he's a healthy baby boy. He eats well, and he sleeps well, and he's so full of energy. Your help and compassion for the poor means a lot to my family. Now I believe there are good-hearted people out there because you have given my son new life. You have given my son new life. Now I believe. You know, what, what does God want us to do? He wants to love us to love other people and, and, and do good for them. He wants us to feed the hungry. He wants us to clothe the naked. He wants us to provide housing for people. And in that case, to provide heart surgery. Now, it's all made possible because people like you care enough to give to say, yeah, I want to help people. I want to make a difference in today's world. If that's you, call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. Just say yes. I want to join the 700 Club. How much is that? Well, it's only $20 a month, 65 cents a day, and you join with tens of thousands of people that want to make a difference in the world today. We're in the middle of a $100,000 challenge. That clock ticking down means we've got 19 minutes and 42 seconds left in a $100,000 challenge. A challenge means existing CBM partners like giving so much. They like enjoying what God does for them after they give. They want to challenge others to give. And so they'll match you dollar for dollar up to $100,000 in the next 19 minutes. So call us, 1-800-759-0700. Let's go over to Wendy at the phone. Thanks, Gordon. When you join the 700 Club, we'll send you a free copy of the new DVD, Life Beyond the Grave. You'll hear from stories, stories from people who say they've been to the afterlife, like Jeffrey Thompson, who died on an operating table. Is there life beyond the grave? My senses became enhanced. I could see everything in that room with perfect clarity. There was an entire dimension that we just simply don't see on Earth. I've never been more alive than I was at that moment. It was incredible. I suddenly had an overwhelming sense of God's presence, of His love, of His peace, of His joy. The Bible says we can't even imagine how incredible heaven's going to be. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind conceived what God has in store for those who love him. Life Beyond the Grave is yours when you call right now and join the 700 Club. And when you call, ask to join 
at the 700 Club Gold level. It's just $40 a month, and you will get not only one, we will give you three, one for you, and two, life beyond the graves for friends or loved ones. And then, if you join at the 1,000 Club level, which is $84 a month, we will send you five life beyond the graves. You can evangelize your whole entire neighborhood. This is a powerful witnessing tool. Maybe you know somebody who's got you know, a lot of questions about the afterlife or it's really been hard to reach. Life beyond the grave. I was watching this last night and just crying. These stories are incredible and powerful and will reach the hardest heart. We want you to have this and we want you to be able to have something that you can use to, to get to those loved ones that you've been praying for for so long. We believe life beyond the grave is your answer. Call us right now, 1-800-759-0700, and we, we will rush you life beyond the grave, or you can log on to CBN.com. It's another great way to give. We're in the middle of a challenge right now, which means every dollar that you pledge right now against this $100,000 challenge will be matched dollar for dollar. Right, Gordon? That's right. We're in a $100,000 challenge, 17 minutes to go. We need to hear from you. I want you to have this, Life Beyond the Grave. Uh, it's an incredible DVD uh, of the stories of eyewitnesses who've been there. Uh, doctors said you were dead. Um, and, and we've got one, Ian McCormick. He was stung by box jellyfish and he had an incredible visitation. He saw his mother praying for him. God woke his mother up and said, you need to pray for his son on the way to the hospital. He, had a, he asked God to forgive him, and then he died. You know where he woke up? He woke up finally in the morgue. He'd been dead for not just a few seconds, but he was in the morgue with a doctor getting ready to drain the blood out of his body. These are the stories that we have for you in this. This will be an incredible tool where you can give it to people around you to say, here, here are eyewitnesses who've been there. We've also got stories of not just people that went to heaven, but also went the other way. When you hear Tamara's story about how she was broken after her marriage dissolved and she decided to end her life, a gun went off and she found herself in a horrible place. You want to hear her story as well. And we'll give you this when you join the 700 Club. When you join at 700 Club Gold, we'll give you three of them so you can share them with friends and family. When you join at 1,000 Club, we'll give you five so you can share them with all your neighbors. We want to give you the tools necessary to help people to say, okay, if you've got questions about is there life after death? Is there a heaven? Is there a hell? This will answer it. We'll have the eyewitness testimony of people who were medically dead and then came back to life, and they tell incredible stories. If you want it, call us, 1-800-759-0700, or you can log on to CBN.com. When you uh, join through the Internet, you automatically sign up for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving. There's no checks to write, uh, nothing to mail in. The bank does all the work. We save so much on the processing we can send as our gift back to you, Power for Life, uh, monthly te teaching CDs. So if you want that, uh, ask for Pledge Express when you call or just log on to CBN.com. Well, Jennifer Dickinson was living her dream. A great job, a beautiful home, and a company car. But when the recession hit, Jennifer watched it all disappear overnight. Jennifer Dickinson always wanted to live in a big house in the country. So she worked hard as a national account manager to achieve her goal. She never thought her livelihood was in jeopardy. I never dream that I would find myself unemployed. But that's exactly what happened when the business she worked for went bankrupt overnight. They said that we may not get our last paychecks. We most likely would not be reimbursed for any outstanding expenses. That the following Monday, our insurance benefits would cease to exist. Those things combined cost Jennifer close to $5,000. In addition, she lost her company car and her gas card, which meant large bills she had never had before. Uh, I'm single, so there was no one to share the expenses with. Um, the mortgage and the expense of having a home was all on me. So when her savings ran out, Jennifer put her house on the market. Month after month, she looked for work and for ways to cut costs. She had been a faithful CBN partner since 1998, and wasn't sure if she could continue giving. I was tempted to decrease my giving or maybe stop giving altogether for a while. But um, 
I just, I just settled it early that it was not a choice for me, that you know God had been faithful to me. There was no way that I was going to give to Him and give to the needs of other people through Operation Blessing and Orphan's Promise and CBN, and, and that the Lord would not make a way for me. Jennifer was at church one Sunday when someone gave her an idea. One of the elders suggested that I be very specific in my petition to God about the type of job that I wanted, the position that I wanted, and all of, all of the details. Jennifer made her list and didn't hold back. She contacted the 700 Club and asked CBN to agree with her in prayer. Then while she was watching a special 700 Club webcast dedicated to overcoming financial difficulty, she got a call. And it was the company that I had written down on the paper. That was only a week later. They said they had my resume and I was one of the candidates that they wanted to interview. Two months later, Jennifer got the job. I got everything that I wrote on that list, the position, the salary, the company car. Jennifer didn't have to sell her house after all. It was one of the most exciting parts of getting my job was to pick up the phone and call the realtor and say, you know, taking my house off the market. And what about all the savings that she lost? I just recently got my tax returns and I was able to put that into savings. So I'm saving again and I am getting back on track and God is restoring me. I, I think it's a miracle. Now Jennifer encourages others who are going through tough economic times. When we are in times of need, that could possibly be the best time to give to others and to just release and let God have everything and give the principle of reciprocity an opportunity to work. He did it for me and I know that He will do it for you. He did it for me and I know He will do it for you. Now, Jennifer learned how to do it, which is keep on giving. Times are tough, that's the time to give and say, okay, God, I trust in you. Here it is, the promise from Psalm 37. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desires. Now, Jennifer wrote out her heart's desires and that's a good thing to do. When you write out what you're, what you're praying for and saying, God, here, here's, here's what I want, here, here's what I want to do, and, and, and he, she was very specific. She wrote it out, she prayed over it, and then she did what God told her, it was just trust me, and trust me with your finances. And God came through, and every one of her requests, he fulfilled and said, Jennifer, I love you, I want, I want to help you. I want to be there for you in your time of need. Now, if that's you, if you want to trust God today and say, okay, I'll trust him with my money, Call us, 1-800-759-0700. Just say, I want to join in everything CBN's doing around the world. We're reaching out with hands of love and compassion through Operation Blessing, through Orphan's Promise, through the Living Waters Program. Uh, we're doing it in, in over 50 nations in the world with Orphan's Promise. Uh, we're doing it with dozens of nations with Living Water. Uh, Operation Blessing, reaching the world uh, with disaster relief. When disasters strike, they want to strike back. CBN World Reach, preaching the gospel through television, training local Christians in how to do uh, uh, Christian programming, and, and being effective in changing cultures and changing lives. You can be a part of all of it by just joining the 700 Club. How much is it? $20 a month, 65 cents a day. We're in the middle of a $100,000 challenge with nine minutes to go. We need to stop that clock because some partners are saying that's not near enough to do everything that's needed to be done. They want to add $200,000 to it, take it all the way up to $300,000, and we get to the end of the hour. Let's pray. Lord, we just ask for blessing for the partners who made it possible to issue this challenge, that your word over them will be true. You will give them the desires of their heart. And for those watching right now, just speak to them, encourage them, bless them. For we ask it all in Jesus' name, amen. $300,000 challenge, 13 minutes, 49 seconds to go. We need to hear from you, so call us, 1-800-759-0700. Terry? 
Well, today, nearly one out of every seven Americans are living in poverty. Many of them are just a paycheck away from losing everything. And that's exactly what happened to the couple that you're about to meet. 2010 started out well enough for Guy and the Shell Peoples. She was a licensed vocational nurse while he worked part-time and took care of their two daughters. But by June, both had lost their jobs and no one, it seemed, was hiring. It went from bad to worse to worse. The last check I got from my part-time job and bought groceries. Five days later, our electricity got cut off. After that came the eviction notice and their family was homeless. I just kept saying, how did I get here? That was a hard, that's a hard pill to swallow. Did you ever imagine that you would be without a home and have to depend on others to help you? No. Mm -mm. So I've always been able to take care of myself. Their family needed help, and they found it at Path of Life Ministries Family Shelter in Riverside, California. CBN is proud to partner with Path of Life because they give families a second chance. Damien O'Farrell is assistant director of the family shelter. The purpose of this place is really to restore and rebuild lives. Um, we do that by uh, helping people in a moment of crisis when they're home, homeless, uh, families with children, and giving them a stable place to live, um, and then working with them to find housing, to find employment. They believe in empowering people by teaching them the life and work skills they need. Guy found a new career through the Accelerated Work Program. As of uh, September 18th of this year, I got my license as a certified nursing assistant. And so because I realized just having work experience is not good enough. You need to actually have a career. Mm -hmm. And so now I do. The family is now in transitional housing, also run by Path of Life. They can stay up to two years. And while Guy starts his new career, Nichelle is back in school, pursuing her dream of becoming a registered nurse. Back Are you excited? School. I'm very excited. I try not to, you know. <laughs> Guy and Nichelle speak for many of the families that you are helping through your gifts to CBN. I would just like to say thank you. I think without Path of Life, I, I wouldn't even want to imagine, you know, what my daughters would go through. As for Ariana and Niana, they're doing just fine. I would say thank you to all the people who help and appreciate us very much. <laughs> Helping people in a moment of crisis, being there for them, but then empowering them to become all that they can be. That's what you do when you're a 700 Club member. That's why we ask you today in the midst of this challenge to please stand with us in this. Help families like Guy and Michelle and their children to move forward in their lives. God has promises for them, principles for them to follow. You're helping them to learn that. And in very practical ways, you're meeting their day-to-day -day needs. That's right here in the United States. And then when you become a 700 Club member, you're also reaching out to the world with us. So go to your phone and call today. Can I tell you the different opportunities for giving that you have? The first is a general 700 club membership. That's 65 cents a day, $20 a month. And by the way, when you join us at that level, we want to send you life beyond the grave. This is going to bless you it will bless your family. This is going to answer a lot of questions that people that you know and love might have about where do you go when you die. And then you might want to join a 700 Club Gold level. That's $40 or more a month. And for that level, we're going to send you Life Beyond the Grave and two extras to share with family, friends, neighbors, whoever you want to share it with. And for the next club level, it's the 1,000 Club level. That's a gift of $84 a month or $1,000 a year. For that level on up, we're going to send you the Life Beyond the Grave DVD for you, but four more copies for family, friends, and loved ones. Let me tell you the other levels. There's the 1,000 Club. We have a 2,500 Club level. We've got our Founders level. That's uh, gifts of 417 or more a month. That's $5,000 a year. And then something we call the Chairman's Circle. It's $10,000 or more a year. Ask God what he'd have you to do. Ask him what he'd have you to do. And then move forward with expectancy to know you're changing lives and your life is going to be changed as well. Gordon? All right, we've got good news from Kissimmee, Florida. Someone becoming a founder. $5,760. That gets doubled to over $10,000 because we're in a challenge. $300,000. Eight minutes and 46 seconds to go. 
Uh, we need to hear from you. We can get the red number up. We've got 60,000 to go on a 300,000. It's going down 55, 53. We're watching it go down. We need to hear from you. Call us 1 800 759 0700. Well, CBN programs are broadcast in more than 100 countries and more than 60 languages. Here's what happened when one of those programs aired in the Hindu village in Nepal. Most people in this village in Nepal offer sacrifices to Hindu gods to ward off evil. But a handful of villagers have given their lives to Jesus Christ, a step of faith that has mainly been kept secret. That is, until a 17-year-old boy named Manoj brought home a television he borrowed. He and his family were Christians, so they were excited when they came across a CBN program called New Life. I was so impressed with the program that I asked my friends and neighbors to watch it with me. Manoj wrote several letters to CBN asking about how to live a Christian life. He also asked for 30 Bibles that he could share with his Hindu friends. I was very happy when I received answers to my questions. I also got a Bible. The personal letters from the host and study materials made me feel so loved. When I was given the Bible from CBN, it was the very first gift I ever received in my life. I enjoy reading my very own Bible and I am really blessed by this wonderful gift. After watching New Life and reading the Bible and other CBN booklets, 19 of Manoj's friends gave their lives to Jesus Christ. I have seen many wealthy people who have everything, money, education and fame, but no peace. Then I watched New Life and learned that only Jesus can give us this inner peace that I was looking for. So I gave my life to Him. My friends and I couldn't stop watching the programs. This show has encouraged us to go out and tell others about Jesus. We are really thankful to you for helping us know God and grow in His Word. If you're a member of the 700 Club, thank you. You're helping preach the gospel around the world. Not in English. What we do is we go in and train local Christians how to do it in their own language. Uh, we supply the equipment. Uh, we have uh, wonderful studio facilities. We have 15 production centers set up around the world, all made possible because people like you care enough to give. If you want to be involved in letting people know the good news of how God loves them, wants them to spend eternity with Him, just call us, 1-800-759-0700, and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. We also encourage you to join via the Internet. CBN.com is available. The phones are busy. Uh, when you join on the Internet, you automatically sign up for Pledge Express. There's no checks to write, nothing to mail in. We save so much on the processing, we can send monthly teaching CDs to you. So if you want that, uh, you can either ask for it on the phone, 1-800-759-0700, or log on to CBN.com. Let's go to Christy. Thanks, Gordon. You know, many of, many of us kind of have an idea of what heaven and hell is like, kind of, sort of. But the reality is that none of us know really what happens on the other side. Well, check this out. We have a phenomenal DVD of people who've actually been there. I am serious. They've had glimpses of heaven. They've been able to escape all the way from hell. But the bottom line is you are about to find out what happens beyond the grave. Take a look. What happens after we die? And I began to rise out of my body up into that room. I suddenly had an overwhelming sense of God's presence. An incredible journey. I saw every aspect of our life together. Who will we see? And I found myself falling through the air, and I landed in this actual prison cell. What will we see? Demons are tormenting people. They had absolutely no mercy. Hear from those who died. I was begging, don't let me go to hell. And return to tell their story. It started in the center of the room toward the ceiling, and I was immediately drawn to it. It was beautiful, just pure. I wanted to know this one who, when I knew without a doubt I was going to hell, came for me. It was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. A powerful tool to share your faith with others. The 700 Club's Life Beyond the Grave, available now. 
This DVD is literally the coolest DVD we have ever given out. It's yours when you become a 700 Club partner. So call the number or log on to CBN.com. We're in the middle of a challenge, so call now. Terry? Well, a few years ago, the two children in this next story lost everything. Their parents, their home, their friends. They weren't even welcome on the streets of their own city until they found a home with CBN's Orphan's Promise. Take a look. Shintu and his sister Rekha lived on the outskirts of Delhi, India. Even though they were healthy, most people didn't go anywhere near them because their parents are lepers. People outside would say, don't go to their house or you'll become like them. Our father would walk in the field and drive a rickshaw. But after he lost some of his fingers and toes, it was hard for him to walk. I used to think my father puts himself through so much pain in order to take care of us. When there was barely enough food to eat, their parents had no other choice but to take them to a children's home, sponsored by Orphan's Promise. It was the last time the children would ever see them. But it was the first time Shintu and Rekha felt accepted by others. When we came here, we were given everything. We got beds and a nice house with electricity. I liked having something to eat. I liked pizza and fish. And they were finally able to get a good education. I liked riding on the school bus. Now, nobody teases us. And they soon learned about Jesus Christ. They told me Jesus is the one true God who died and rose on the third day. I started believing in God and He showed me how to be a good boy. One day, as I was walking towards a church altar, I heard Jesus say to me, My child, don't cry. That's when I started to believe in Jesus. Now Shintu and Rekha want to use what they've learned to help others. When I grow up, I want to become a preacher and teach others to share because when someone doesn't have anything, people need to help. I love Jesus very much. I'm not hungry anymore. I get everything I need and everybody shows me love. I want to thank Orphan's Promise. They took good care of us and helped us when we didn't have anything. This is a wonderful children's home where these kids are getting food for their bodies, food for their souls, where they're accepted and loved and know that they are valued by their Heavenly Father. You make that possible. Join the 700 Club today. Help us love people, especially children like these around the world, with the love of Jesus. Call right now, 1-800-759-0700. That's the number on your screen. By the way, you can also give by logging on to CBN.com. Gordon? And when you call with your gift, we want to get this to you. Life beyond the grave, the real testimonies. These are eyewitnesses who've been there, uh, who died on operating tables, who died in emergency rooms. And they, they say, this is what God did for me. They came back and we've got their eyewitness testimonies for you. It's a great tool for evangelism. If you have people around you that have doubts, is there a heaven? Is there a hell? Is there life after death? These, the, this DVD will answer that question for you. We had a $300,000 challenge. Against that, you gave 347. We leave today with these words from Acts 20. Remember the words of the Lord Jesus that he said, it's more blessed to give than to receive. God bless you. Our world moves at an incredible pace. People everywhere rushing to their destinations. But there's a destiny that awaits each one of us. And all of us will face life's ultimate question. Where will I spend eternity? In his new DVD, Life Beyond the Grave, Pat Robertson introduces you to real people with remarkable stories of heaven and riveting accounts of hell. You'll learn what the Bible has to say about life after death. The Bible tells us that eye has not seen, nor ear heard, nor mind conceived, 
what God has prepared for those who love Him. Life Beyond the Grave will build your faith as God's promises come alive, prepare you to face your eternity, and provide you with a powerful witnessing tool to share with your loved ones. I want you to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that your destiny is sealed forever in heaven.